this one. Or Can everybody clap this that one? rhythm? You never really know what you're gonna do in your class until you're there. Some days you're gonna be pretending to be the teacher, and some days you're gonna be you know, the student taking notes from a lecture, and other days you're gonna be pretending to be the kid that you're one day gonna be teaching. We're usually the class that's sitting on the floor playing drums. You start off not necessarily being very comfortable with, and then by the end you're just like, we're gonna do the hokey pokey, yeah, let's all do it. One of the most valuable things is getting some experience with all sorts of instruments that I had no idea how to play beforehand. If you are licensed to teach kindergarten through 12th grade band, chorus, general music, orchestra. So you do have to have at least an introduction to everything. Having to arrange music for band and conduct band for the first time is quite the enlightening experience to say the least. So uh, let's do the four bar vamp intro, play through the head once, and then we'll go around the room. Your goal is to be the best you can be for the students you're gonna eventually teach. And that's where the community comes in. You're trying to help each other in music ed so that if I'm really good at this, and he's really good at that, and she's really good at this, we should all work together so that we all come out of it being really good at everything. If you're thinking about choosing music ed, here are some things that you should consider. How do you organize your time? How well do you get along with others? Not just other adults, but kids that could be as young as preschool age through 12th grade. How well do you manage other people? We have this really great culture of respect for each other. We listen to each other. We support each other. I liked your introduction with naming the colors and thinking of other colors from different languages. It's really relevant and appropriate. I woke up every day so excited to go to class and to grow as colleagues. That's a testament, I think, not only to the people that choose the major, but also to the faculty. In the upper semester classes of the major, you spend a little bit more time out in the field. This is an opportunity for you to really practice what you have been learning. The culminating experience is a student teaching, where they're responsible for an entire arts program over a 15-week period. So right now I'm student teaching at Lexington High School. It's a really good kind of hands-on learning experience. Now when I apply at jobs, I have on my resume at least 450 hours of in-field experience. Because of what I did here, I actually uh, landed a really good job with the community education program in Lexington. We have a wonderful student teacher, Ms. Sion Wicke. <laughs> and she is from the Berkeley College of Music. They stand up in front of that classroom. They're unlocking the minds of another generation of arts learners. If you're willing to offer your knowledge to the next generation, teach is definitely for you. Because without teachers, the art dies.